Welcome back to another video and on today's video we'll be talking internet on the brilliance of the seas you know Royal Caribbean and that's coming up right after this. Hey right, everyone welcome back to Traveling with Justin. I am Justin and today we'll be talking about the internet on Brilliance of the Seas. It's called Vroom. Yeah, because it's, it's powered by Starlink. And you know, Starlink is supposed to be this great, great internet provider by um, Mr. T Mr. Elon Musk himself. And so, yeah, it is comparable. So we spent $335.88 on this internet for six days. I know, I know what you're thinking. Yes, that was expensive. It was like 55 bucks a day for two devices. That was for two devices. And so we got it because we have to keep in touch. I work, I, I'm not technically working um, on the internet, on the cruise ship, but you know, we got the internet so we can keep in touch, emails, phone calls, you know, iMessages, because I was expecting stuff to come in. My wife was playing games on the, her phone, her iPad. And so that's what we basically used it for. I answered emails, I read emails and stuff like that. So I didn't publish any videos because I don't usually publish videos while I'm on a cruise because I'm just gonna step over here for a minute. All right, so I have my trusty note right here. So brilliance of the seas internet. The download speeds were 54.9 megabits per second. The uploads were 16.1. Yes, you heard that right. Starlink on brilliance of the seas going up the California coast to Vancouver was 16.1 megabits per second. So if you have a gigabit video, that's gonna take forever. I wouldn't do a zoom call over that at all. And so let's see here. So in comparison, my home Wi-Fi, this was taken from my iPhone, the same as it was on the brilliance of the seas. That one was 261 down and 263 up. So my Wi-Fi here at home was a lot better than Brilliance of the Seas, Starlink, okay? And, you know, just for comparison, my direct connection for my MacBook was um, 937 down and 936 up. So yeah, I can upload a pretty good size file and like that at home, but 16.1 upload speeds on Brilliance of the Seas with the Starlink. Now, that's not that much speed. And for people who work on the cruise ship, not like the crew and stuff like that, but people who go there and they try to run a travel agency or they're trying to do remote work. Opening emails was okay on this trip. I've had problems in the past with other cruise lines that have, you know, issues with can't even open an email up using their internet. <laughs> I know. So yeah, responding to emails, was okay. Um, I've heard people who can't even do that because of how slow the Starlink is. Yeah, Starlink is not the lifesaver here. It is better than what they have been using previously on Royal Caribbean and other cruise ships, but is it the answer? I don't know. I guess it depends on where you're at in the world and how good the internet is, but 16.1 megabits per second. Yeah, that's not that much upload speeds and it would be forever to upload a video. I've, I've heard people try to upload videos because they do YouTube daily. And some use Starlink, some use other ones. Everyone's switching to Starlink, but it's taken like 16 hours to upload a video. That's why I don't upload videos while I'm on a trip because number one is I don't want people to know I'm gone. Number two is because it's so slow. So is it worth the $335 for two devices for six days? Depends on what you're gonna use it for. You know, we used it all the time. I got, I kept on top of my emails from, I have several different accounts and my wife was able to do what she does on the, her iPads and things like that. And yeah, we, it was worth it to us because we use it all the time. Now, if you're going to go on the cruise and you're not going to use it, 
or you know you're just like oh i'm gonna check my emails or you know you can download books and stuff like that but you might you might have to think your personal situation what is your situation and will you need the internet will you won't need the internet and so yeah we paid the 335 that was fine um it was doable for what we did with it now i would like to try uploading videos at one point but we'll have to see how that goes all right guys so yeah the starlink on brilliance with the seas it was okay but 16.1 upload speeds that's when i did my speed test um i'll i should have done more speed tests but i've only i only did that one in the cabin to see how it was because that's where i'd be uploading videos and stuff like that and so yeah it, it was okay it got done what we needed to get done all right so you will have to decide when you go on a cruise if you're going to do the internet or not it is expensive of course they have to pay for the installation of starlink right <laughs> so until the next video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and until the next one i will see you later bye